when finishing any part it is vitally important that we can accurately identify where any remaining material or rest material is in the part. Obvious, the obvious benefits of being able to detect this rest material accurately are that we do not waste any time over machining and fresh air cutting and also oppositely we do not plunge the material into unmachined stock that we're not aware of. It also eliminates any user error. PowerMill has several techniques for automatically detecting and machining rest material. In this example we're going to go through the three main techniques. The first method is to use one of the automatic corner machining strategies such as corner along or corner stitch or corner automatic machining. Now this is probably the simplest uh, and most automatic method for machining rest material. We just simply create a we just simply reference a previous tool and PowerMill will automatically work out where that previous tool has left material in the corners and subsequently produce a suitable toolpath to machine those corners. You'll notice that the toolpath is split into two styles of cutting. On the steep areas, PowerMill will automatically choose a stitch strategy to machine across the corner and work its way down the vertical corners which is the optimum way to machine those regions. On the shallow areas PAMA will produce an along style cutting action so the toolpath will move parallel along the corner again this is the most suitable cutting action for shallow corners. The disadvantage of using automatic corner finishing is that because we've used a reference tool to detect the rest material, we are assuming that that reference tool has machined completely over the part. The other disadvantage is we have no control over the cutting style. The second method is a two-part process which involves creating first of all an automatic rest boundary. Again this rest boundary is based upon a reference tool so the resultant boundary should match the previous corner finishing toolpath almost exactly. But the, the benefit of using a boundary as opposed to a corner finishing toolpath is that we can choose any cutting strategy we like inside that boundary. So in this example I'm using a spiral 3D offset but it could easily be a combination of constant Z and raster inside that boundary. So we have a lot more flexibility in the way we approach the machining. The disadvantage is the same as for corner finishing in that the rest boundary assumes that the reference tool obviously machined all of the part. The final method and probably the most accurate method is to use a stock model rest boundary. The stock model is a true reflection of the current state of the block and by using the show rest material in the stock model we get an accurate representation of where the rest material is and because our stock model rest boundary is based upon this rest material then the resultant boundary will be 
a true reflection of the rest material in the part. Again, as we're using a boundary, we can fill that boundary with any toolpath strategy we wish. The disadvantage of using the rest material boundary is that on larger parts, the rest the the stop model can consume a lot of memory and take a long time to calculate and the quality of the boundary can sometimes not be as smooth as a rest boundary.